And in this last video, we're going to be looking at instant payment notification using PayPal and the PayPal Sandbox. And of course, you can just port all of this stuff over to your production system when you're done your development. And I'd also like to remind you that this is for a very simple PayPal, uh, PayPal shopping cart. And there are more complex shopping carts and solutions available to you. However, if you're going to be doing that, I would suggest that you look at something like OS Commerce or Zencart, uh, which is free and is much more feature rich than what we developed today. However, what we developed today is nice because it's simple and we got to do some object oriented programming and we got to explore sort of some of the PayPal API at, uh, with relative simplicity. So here's the PayPal sandbox again. Uh, the Instant Payment Notification Simulator, or the IPN, is basically a tool that is used to simulate what happens when a transaction goes through. So you can enable this as a merchant by logging in to the merchant si as a merchant. Now I'm just going to go there. So let's go to Test Accounts. And we'll enter the Sandbox uh, site as a seller. Same password. And kind of buried in the seller page under your edit profile. If you click here, you'll see that you've got instant payment notification preferences. So I've set this up to hit a page called john.levensold.ca forward slash PayPal forward slash ipn.php and you can set this up to any URL and what this means is that as soon as a transaction goes through it's going to hit this page and it's going to post back a whole bunch of variables and this is really helpful if you want to store your own data or for example if you want to check for fraud and you want to compare the data that you're getting on one side which is in your shopping cart to the data that you're receiving on the other before actually shipping the item or before actually accepting the a payment from the buyer so let's set that up. What we're going to do is we're going to use the test tools in the sandbox and there's an instant payment notification simulator here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say a cart checkout is the transaction type. And you'll notice that we have all these different variables that start popping up here. And we can actually access all of this or as part of what the IPN, what the instant payment notification that PayPal does will be sending. This, all this information will get sent from PayPal to whatever URL that we want it to post to. So what I'm going to do is I've logged into my FTP and I'm just going to go to my john.lebensold.ca. Now you can do this with any text editor. Um, I'm just using bbedit, but you can also use Text Wrangler on the Mac or Cyberduck with just the basic text edit program that comes with your Mac. And we're going to go to PayPal. And I've already started working on this. I'll just quickly show you what I've got here. And you can, of course, take this a step further. So I've got a file called payments.log. We basically pick up a file handler, which opens the file. And you'll notice here that I've got, I'm basically just creating a, a line, an entry in my log. So I've got request payment status, request payment date, request payer email, shipping, MC shipping, and subtotal, MC gross. And then I write that to my file, and then I close it. And so what I can do here is I can tell PayPal to PayPal IPN.php and then if I hit send IPN what will happen is that it just pings this particular URL and this is what it does every single time as long as you set it up you a transaction occurs and you could have it send an email from here or you could just have it write to a file or you could do any kind of logging that you feel is needed for your accounting purposes so the end result of that is that it's written to this payments.log file. So I'm going to open that very quickly. 
and you'll see that PayPal has completed at the time buyer at paypalsandbox.com shipping three dollars and two cents and subtotal is fifteen dollars and thirty four cents and before that you saw that I have one from one of the buyers that I already had set up so this is just something for you to take a look at and play with and uh, hopefully you can extend this and build whatever kind of shopping cart you need for your purposes thanks a lot for listening I'm John Lebensold and I hope this series was helpful. You can email me at john at if you have any questions. Thanks.